Hi guys, my name is Maya and today I'm going to show you how to put together a cheese board as well as talk a little bit about my ingredients and their flavours. I want to start off by cutting and preparing my cheeses as well as all of my condiments. To prepare my ingredients, I'm going to use a large all-purpose utility knife and a small appearing knife. It's preferred that you use a bread knife for the bread, but my utility knife managed to do the job this time around. The cheeses I'm using for my cheese board today are Vintage Windsor Blue, Linda's Pass Brie and Tortilla Tasty Cheddar. The Vintage Windsor Blue has a creamy texture with a pungent flavour that only intensifies with the ageing process. This cheese pairs well with honey, providing a sweet balance to the strong, piquant flavour of the blue. It also balances quite nicely with some seasonal nuts. Here I've used pecans. The Tortilla Tasty Cheddar is a strong but classic flavoured cheese with a crunchy texture and a sharp finish. It teems well with seasonal fruit. For this cheese board I've used tamarillos to nicely couple the nuttiness of the cheddar with the tartness of the tamarillo, bringing a harmonious pairing of the two. This also goes well with a wafer cracker or even some fruit paste. Linda's Pass Brie has a complex earthy taste with mushroom flavours. The young delicate flavour strengthens with ripening, softening over time. It is at its best when it mounts through the knife and is at its most difficult when cutting. The brie is best accompanied with a baguette or freshly baked bread or even better, on its own. I find that it also sits nicely with a seed cracker. Placing everything carefully and delicately on my board, I try to arrange all of my cheeses first and my condiments afterwards, though it is easier to arrange items from biggest to smallest, just so that we can fill in the gaps as we go along. The key to a nice looking cheese board is colour. Shuffling things to fit is not a bad thing so don't be afraid to completely rearrange things as we go. The consumption sequence of these cheeses would be from the mildest tasting cheese to the most flavoursome. This way you won't taint the flavour of the cheeses and it will enable you to experience each cheese at its full potential. I would recommend nibbling on an apple or pear between cheeses as this cleanses the palate leaving only a little amount of flavour on the tongue. you're going to want to use the appropriate utensils. Here I've laid out some of my preferred knives. Starting from the right I'm using a soft cheese knife. This knife has holes and prongs on the end. You use this for soft cheeses like brie so that it doesn't stick to the knife. Moving on to the next knife, this is called a campana and is used for blue crumbly cheeses. And the knife on the far left, which is called a core, is mainly used for hard cheeses like cheddar and is usually used to chip away at the blocks with its sharp tip. There is also a pronged knife at the bottom of the board, used to pick up the cheese when you're done with cutting. 